have a Bentley GTC. I have a Rolls Royce Wraith. Yes, I have a beautiful home. Yes, it's a little under 10,000 square feet. I bought a Bentley, I bought a Range Rover, I bought a Cadillac truck, I got all these cars. Hell yeah, I got a damn Maserati, this $200,000. I'm the CEO, the president of Miracle Home Care. I made over $1.2 million my first year. I'm not the woman to sit in the house and wait on a man to bring home the bacon. My clientele is athletes, entertainers. I like to have streams of income coming from all, all areas. Now, I'm an author, a business success coach. I wear so many different hats. Right now, I'm making between 40 and 45,000 a week. My net worth is probably a little over four million. Every man gotta wanna sleep with you, and every woman gotta wanna beat you. Yes, I have three PhDs. I'm still gonna drop it like it's hot when you turn on the music. I'm still gonna make some moonshine on the weekends. That's where I came from, and I'm a whole truth to the game. Always. Please believe. Boop! <laughs> To be a boss, you gotta start somewhere. So everybody in here started somewhere. Everybody didn't start off rich or having all this money. My mom was one of the biggest drug dealers that you could know. I come from hustlers and pimps, and I ain't afraid to tell nobody. Our stories are so freaking similar. I dropped out of school in the ninth grade um, after I got pregnant. Upon I was pregnant with my daughter at 15. You know, I was a teenage mom. Just like Sasha was a teenage mom, I had my son at 15 years old, and everybody, since I was younger, thinking she's never gonna be anything because she was a teenage mom. I have been broke, I've been through bankruptcy, I haven't been able to buy the eyelashes and drive the certain cars, but guess what? I'm not there anymore, and I will never be there ever again. I've trafficked drugs, I've, I've been a stripper, I mean, I stole, I did, I wrote checks. The first time I had to use food stamps and I had to go into a welfare office, oh, I already knew that that was not my lifestyle. You don't know what the hell I had to do to get to here. Nobody knows what I did to get to here. Nobody knows how many times my first husband beat my ass. Nobody knows that. I pushed hard, real hard, to prove people wrong because I wanted to be somebody. And I still made it, made it millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. My husband cheated on me with, you know, several different women. My husband has two outside kids. You know, we're trying to work through it. Once she decided I'm gonna forgive my husband and stay with him, how can you love him and not open your door to his kids? Every time she see them, them children, exactly. she knew her husband was out there fucking is what he was doing, okay? You you don't know what you would do if you... Exactly. I'm dealing with six baby mamas, so don't go there with me because I know. Six? Nigga, what? Tammy is crazy. My baby's father is Evander Holy. Feel. Come on, y'all, with the celebrities and the athletes and stuff. Y'all know it is groupies. I wouldn't even want to say out of my mouth that I'm one of six baby mom. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm, I can't even say it. Me and my husband are going through a divorce right now. Sorry. I'm so happy. Hallelujah. Praise God. <laughs> OK. I pulled a gun on him. That's crazy. My husband is a military man. You stupid. But I was once married to Reuben Stutter. You know, Ruben, he said you broke his heart, girl. I would say we kind of broke each other a little bit. Ruben was in front of me and said that this woman did not love him and was trying to take advantage of him and wanted his money. That's a gold digger if she's sitting no, at it's home. No, not. Because you call me a gold her digger? Can you just sit back and shut the fuck up? My money comes from network marketing. They call it a pyramid. No, baby, everything in life is a pyramid. Everything. I take that very personal. I, like, personal to the point where I, I gotta control myself, I'll fight you. What I have seen with network marketing, people underneath don't make no money. Hold up, that's like women with lashes and long weave. What do they say about them? Prostitute. That's a stereotype. They say long lashes. They say and people that look hair. like you are prostitutes. Well, goddamn it, I ain't no goddamn Thank prostitute. You. Yeah, Sasha, she's cool and everything, but she real extra. Her eyelashes extra, her hair extra, her makeup extra, her contour extra. She extra. But I like her. But she real extra. I got diagnosed with breast cancer in October of last year. Right now, I'm dealing with breast cancer. And I begged her. I said, take your breasts off. 
take them off. I have a husband and he loves titties. I mean, if I have to, I will, you know, but right now I don't have to. And he, he like these and I like them. Hell, they cute. I help people to create strong incomes. I help inspire people. I literally inspire millions of people that I don't even know. I've always said that when I get wherever I was going, I was gonna be mature enough to bring somebody else along. So I'm gonna always extend my hand. They are powerful women, and I know with the seven or eight of us, we can change the world. We are gonna be okay, but do understand, I'm not a follower, I'm a leader, baby. Follow Sasha, the diva.